imádtam, imádtam Magyarországot. He was a natural born leader and the boys all looked to him for leadership, both in mischief and in good things. Uh, I was put into a forced labor camp in a place north of Budapest, which had an important railroad bridge. I escaped from that labor camp and I joined the Hungarian underground. That was 1947, and at that time, it really looked like Budapest would be a place where, you know, we could really make our home. He loved Hungary. He loved Hungary. We all loved Hungary. We all wanted to go back there. And um, he, uh, he was hoping, you know, to get a good education abroad, and he was planning to come back next summer. And then, of course, you know, in 1948, you know, the communists clamped down on Hungary. And uh, that was the end, you know, of any hope of ever getting back there. He convinced um, the president of the University of Washington to offer a language course in Hungarian. <laughs> and so the University of Washington, I think, became one of the few major universities in America to offer introductory Hungarian, uh, intermediate Hungarian and advanced Hungarian <laughs> among its language offerings, all of which were filled, of course, with girls from the sororities who flocked, of course, to Tom's classes because he was always so handsome and charismatic. In spite of all the terrible things that happened to us, Tom loved Hungary with a passion. <laughs> and, uh, and he was just waiting for the moment that we could go back there and he could take his children back there and share that Hungarian heritage with them. I was very fortunate growing up to spend a lot of time with my grandfather. I spent a lot of time with him in Washington, I spent a lot of time with him in his congressional district, and we traveled all over the world together. But I never saw him more in his element. I s never saw Tom Lantos being Tom Lantos more than when we were in Hungary together. Uh, the sky was bluer, the music was sweeter, the food tasted better, everything was better for him uh, when we were in Hungary. I love my native country and my native language and literature and music and culture. That commitment to Hungary compelled so much of the work that he did in Congress, worked to address some of the challenges that persisted in Hungary, uh, both during uh, the Cold War and after, uh, and worked to build the relationship between the United States and Hungary. And for those of us of a different generation, he represented a link to the past, um, and a link to connect in some way with our roots, and he instilled and many of us, along with other members of our community, a sense of, 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 of commitment and of service. 
I know I speak for all of my colleagues, Republicans and Democrats, in expressing our outrage at the most recent terrorist The central attack. focus of my life, obviously, is human rights. Because I am convinced that this is really the path of a more civilized world. His message always was that it doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter which God you worship. It doesn't matter what ethnic group you are a part of. Our commitment to human rights, our commitment to these principles is motivated by our core humanity. It is something that unites each of us regardless of what flag we pledge allegiance to and regardless of uh, what experiences we have had in our lives. It will teach, hopefully, future generations why discrimination is uh, uh, a bad thing, why human rights and the rights of minorities are very important values in a society. And uh, this will be a true tribute to Congressman Tom Lantus. A nagy papam nevében nagy örömmel köszöntök mindenkit a Lantos Intézet megnyitásán Budapesten.